And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Vi, going to be our first deck today. This deck's similar to the Heimerdinger Vi deck that's pretty popular. It's going to be P and Z and Targon together, but we're going to be going with Ezreal instead of Heimerdinger. Um, basically, I guess we have Ezreal in here that can help finish out games a little bit faster than what Heimerdinger can. Um... And, you know, just get, gets a little bit more aggressive and, you know, we, we cast our spells, uh, level up our Ezreal, and then each spell that we cast, doing some Nexus damage. Um, but yeah, lots of good stuff just kind of throughout the deck. Uh, we have cards like Mountain Goat that create a gem and Spring Guardian that creates the Spring Gifts in hand. And so with, then with those extra cards, we can use those to discard. So we can discard those to Get Excited or Sump Dredger or Spacey Sketcher. Uh, for some unique abilities, um, we've got a good good removal in here and good uh, a good um, variety of removal. That's what I'm looking for. We have Gotcha, we have Static Shock, we got a Sunburst, uh, got some Thermogenic Beams, Get Excited, of course, Mystic Shot. So a good variety depending on like what what our opponent has. We should have some answers, and then we also have the late game with the Invoke card, Star Shaping, Solari Priestess. Help us invoke and find some really powerful celestial cards in there as well. All right, so that's that's our deck, Ezreal Vi. Let's go ahead and go play five games over in Ranked. And we'll kick off the day. Okay, Trundle Trindamir. Going to need to kill some big stuff. All right, we're going to mulligan the Guiding Touch. Maybe the Star Shaping, too. I mean, I, I like Star Shaping, but we're not going to be casting in a while. I love the Mountain Goat Pill Cascade Start. We're definitely keeping that. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we'll just ship Star Shaping back also. Okay, I like this. This will do. Static Shock isn't going to be killing anything in this matchup. Um, but it is. we can get a couple targets to help level up Ezreal. It's possible that they're playing, like sometimes you play against these decks that are playing like Hapless Aristocrat and um, and the 2-1, Avros and uh, whatever. Cool, I already got a gem. Gems also kind of work okay with Ezreal if you just want to like make a bigger Ezreal them and everything okay so mountain goat the problem with playing mountain goat here is is like avalanche need to be a little bit worried about avalanche let's just go ahead and play the ezreal and cool i'm gonna go ahead and use the gem right now before attacking one to you know put more pressure on them but two now we'd have nightfall on the pale cascade without having to play anything else. So in case I want to pill Cascade, we'd have that. Firing. And I'll just pass. Bow to your king. What's up, Dragon? Yeah, we playing some Trundle Trindamir. Playing against some Trundle Trindamir. We'll take the Falling Comet. Thank you. Uh, let's see. If you could back it up. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna obliterate this thing. Basically, I could see if I just go to a, go to attacks with Ezreal, I could see them using vengeance and just like vengeance kill Ezreal. I kind of feel like that's what they were going to do. So like if their plan is like seven mana vengeance the Ezreal, by getting rid of that seven six, we can attack in with the three twos. Especially with having Pale Cascade. So I lose both three twos. So 
I'm trading both 3-2s for Trundle and 3 damage on the Ancient Yeti. Um, I know I have Pale Cascade that would trade here, but I'm going to just use the Mystic Shot that we create. Okay. Glad they didn't have a like, control chance to save that. I'll pass. They could pass and make me burn a card. I have 10 cards in hand. Awesome. Glad that worked. Yeah, yeah, we got a good lineup today. Okay. So, yep, there's the Vengeance. Predicted that one. Time for a true display of skill. I just think it's kind of likely for another Vengeance. I don't want to, like, go all in and just use, like, all these gems on this Ezreal. Gotcha. I'll, I'll get a little bit more damage in. Uh, maybe I should have gone all in. I guess I should have gone all in. So we're at three out of six. So this could be four, five. So I could, I could level up Ezreal by going Static Shock, Mystic Shot. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Doesn't doesn't matter too much. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Okay, so we have a leveled up. We have a leveled up Ezreal. I love the Sunburst draw, because that should just kill that, right? Yeah, that gets rid of that. Okay, or should I be playing gems? So, like, each gem does one damage. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, I could do six burst damage to them, and they're at eight. Let's just try this instead. Impossible. Cool, that was pretty big. Smashing. Get ready for a beef down. So close, I'd need like one other little pump. I guess, I guess, I mean, if I couldn't play a gem first before the daybreak. Ah, so close. Hmm. So they're down to three. Yeah, so close. You can see the Nebastian border from here. For the thrill of battle! Yeah, it depends. You know, like, they're the Shadow Isles deck with, like, their lifesteal. Depends on, depends on, like, if they have Nexus healing. Can I get, can I kill them and then be able to respond with a Get Excited? Right, like, that's, that's what I want now. I want to be able to have Lethal and do three damage, and then they play, like, a Grasp or Withering Will, and then I respond with a Get Excited to kill them again. 
I mean, you can't you can't play Gem before Ezreal dies. I, I couldn't. Like that that's the problem because you can't you can't cast this during combat and I can't I can't play it before my daybreak card. I just couldn't. I would have loved to do that. So if I play Get Excited right now, then if they just have Withering Will or Grass the Undying, I, I basically lose. Unless we top deck another Get Excited. If I play Ezreal first, if they have one of those, Time for a true display of skill. it's easier for us to win. Mystic Shot does 3 damage to them. These two gems do 4 damage to them. Assuming the Ezreal hits them. Witness glory. Alright, so we'll just go with the Get Excited that puts Lethal on them. Doing that to draw a card. Should put extra Lethal on them. That's still Lethal. Okay, well... Still lethal, so we'll take that. Cool. All right, want to know? And Ezreal is victorious. I didn't really think about atrocity too much, to be honest. That may have gotten me. Okay, mirror type match, but we got Ezreal. They got Heimerdinger. So we'll see which one wins the mirror. Okay. I like Solari Priestess. Let's get rid of the Pale Cascade. Um, Star Shaping's... You know, it's good, but we're not going to play it forever. So do we keep a good card that we're not going to play forever? Yeah. Might as well. It's a good card. La no, last game we had a really good hand. Um, you know, Mountain Goat on two. Like, we, we got to some good pressure with, like, the Mountain Goats and stuff. We, we had a very good hand last game. Really ideal. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So what do we get? This is tough, t taking a Traveler or a Golden Sister. Um, I like both of those. The Warrior's good against Heimerdinger, right? Like, it pressures Heimerdinger, but we got other removal. Um, I guess I'll take the Traveler. In her radiant blessing. I could see me playing the Traveler next turn. Glory. Cool. Those we care for reflect our love. I guess we'll just keep going with more travelers. It was my heart. The it's either that or like the Moon Silver. Moon Silver could be good of just like gaining a mana with us having infinite cards. I'm doing this my way. Alright, so that thing's a 4-4. Four -four. So I'm gonna hush Pale Cascade. That sounds a boot, right? So we could pass here, they could pass back. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I have nine cards in hand. Oh, uh, do I want to just play this gem just to get rid of it? Yeah, I kinda do. So 
It would get a, you know, like if they if they do pass, if they're scared to attack, and they pass, we just got a card out of our hand and also spent a mana. And now these all across the board trade with the Spring Guardian. My spirit shines. Shoo, shoo. Back, heretic. I don't draw a card. See them playing Hush. Let's go with this. Okay. Not too surprised there. So now the main question is... Let it go. Yeah, the main question is, do I want to get excited, you know, basically before Guiding Touch? Star shaping or things like that that heal. But I'm scared of Heimerdinger. And I don't I don't want them to play Heimerdinger and then I don't have removal for it. We have Vi, Vi in check for now. Cascade. I went with that three drop because I want to have Static Shock to be able to blow up a Bastion, which I guess I have the Mystic Shot that could have blown up a Bastion, so maybe I should have gone Traveler. Um, I guess it's Pale Cascade. It's either that or Hush. Eh, maybe it's just Hush. Okay, so they're just getting a 5-1. We can clean up the 5-1 fairly easily with this. Alright, so I either deal one damage to them or get another target for Ezreal. Probably supposed to get another target for Ezreal, aren't I? Yeah. Probably should be getting that level up. Alright, so you're at four. Still have Heimerdinger. What do you mean the Heimer bug where you still don't create the 8 mana T-Rex still exists? I, I don't know of that bug at all. It's been in the game since day one. What are you, what are you talking about? I've, I've never heard of such a bug. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. No, I don't, I don't think there's any time where Heimer doesn't make the turret. I don't, I've never heard of that. I've never seen that before. One girl I don't know of that at all. Like, if your hand's full, Heimerdinger doesn't make a turret. Is that what you're thinking of? Like, when you have 10 cards in hand, you can't make a turret. So I can attack out here and have my Vi challenge their Vi. The problem is, is, like, then they could go Heimerdinger. They've already played one. And at that point, they would be at six. I was supposed to do that. I'm just scared of Heimerdinger. <laughs> okay, not Heimerdinger. Believe or burn. I kind of feel like that's that must be what you're thinking about Gucci is like sometimes if if your hand is full you won't make a turret so like you like if you cast like a progress day you draw three cards and it fills up your hand and so then that, then you don't have room for the 8-8 T-Hex so it doesn't make the T-Hex. The light of my star warms Oh, that's the annoying. Heavens. 
journey is a discovery. Punch it! The hour is mine. Trouble coming at ya! Why are you here? Okay, I could get excited this thing and keep them from healing four. But I'm just gonna pass. We're gonna see what happens here. I don't wanna really tap out. I'll put that down to one. I don't wanna do that. So we'll see how greedy this is. I could have killed Vi with a Mystic Shot and chose not to. They could, you know, have another Star Shaping to heal Vi again. That's certainly a possibility. This will level up Ezreal. Oh, make it so Ezreal doesn't die to get excited. I know I could go upstairs. This this does two damage to them, so it does one less. Ah, uh, I was doing one less damage to them to try to kill this thing. Sure. That's too bad. If I would have killed it, then I you know could have attacked out. Oh no. Down to three. Man, okay, I mean, well, like, this is gonna happen. So, get excited is the. No, like, I, I don't think I just go face and just throw the mystic shots at them because get excited kills me. So I guess, I think I have to play this. I wish... I wish I could save the three spell mana though and be able to play Ezreal and then Living Legends. They have played a good amount of guiding touches and st and uh, star shapings already. What once was no. Oh, life steal again. Okay. So my plan. Please don't kill my Ezreal. And then next turn we have we got burst damage. That's why I waited on, on the Ezreal to see if they would have tapped out. Okay, so now we got burst damage, so they're gonna have to have burst healing. If they give me priority, they lose. No, of course they do. Uh, that's probably game then. Hmm. Yeah, that this thing was good. GG's. There's too many of those star shapings. Best, uh... Darn. 
Well, I like the first three cards in hand. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep star shaping against scouts or not. I'll go ahead and mulligan the star shaping. Like, star shaping could be a card that, that helps us stabilize in the late game, which could be really nice, but the thing is, is we have to stabilize the board uh, before that or around that time, so we'll just go ahead and mulligan. Are they playing loot? They're playing quit. Okay. Take the trades. Time for a true display of skill. No prey, no pay. <clears throat> so they can have the plus two, plus two, and allow them to block elusives. That card's kind of messy. And stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Not really. I like getting that out of their hand there and not have a static shock. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Hope they don't have another one. Yep, there's the sharp side, the plus two, plus two, and can block elusive. Valor! Just like hunting thresher geese. Love ya. I'm thinking about taking the Moonsilver. Uh, let's see, next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because then Moonsilver will allow us to have Vi and Mystic Shot next turn. Scouting ahead. Hold still. I spilled. So they've attacked twice for both of these things. I don't miss. Trouble coming at ya. Man, are they gonna have repost also? Man, I guess if they just have repost, they just have it all. GG's. Come on. Seriously? Okay, well then. I do this now. Break up that barrier. Firing. Don't let them reinforce. Back here. Set sail. Crazy. Crazy. So now this thing levels up, so a single ballistic shot is going to kill it. So that's seven damage. They just end up having another Relentless Pursuit. You know, GG's. Okay, good. 
One shot, all skill. My kind of party. Sharp sight card's pretty good. Dangerous water. I guess I should have led with Solari Priestess. Um, and I feel like I have to play. I feel like I have to play Solari Priestess here, just for the blocker. I don't get. I don't get the invoke, but we can get a ton of invoke <clears throat> with help from get bloody, get paid. the Living Legends. You're between me and glory. No sweat. <sighs> Do I want to have Living Legends with just seven mana? No, we'll have Living Legends next turn. Two. I can Guiding Touch and save the Ezreal, but I also just have a brand new Ezreal. I think I'll just use the new Ezreal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to play the new Ezreal. New Ezreal will not be uh, vulnerable like this one is. Man, crazy game. It looks like we're going to get this. Okay, so 10 mana. I guess I'm going to go Trickster and the Destroyer. For 10 mana. No, we don't really need we don't really need our things to be plus two plus two. Because I guess I realize that if they have if they do have um, misfortune, kind of need the falling comet to kill misfortune. All right, so this this will do three to them. Another mystic shot does three. Yeah, so if they do have if they do have misfortune, we can just kill them. So we just go crescent strike. Firing. Uh, put them down to three, and then we have Mystic Shot. Which I can just... Ah, I can just do that with this anyway. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Okay, so we can kill them before, before the misfortune damage happens. Fresh out of mercy. It was Misfortune. It was their best card. And Ezreal is victorious. GG's. Most Scouts players don't play single combat. But that was really close. Doesn't say you know, it doesn't mean that all of them don't have single combat. Well, 
keep our champions. We'll keep the thing that invokes. This is going to be a longer game. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe get ran over. So much for that. That last game against, you know, like that one of Spacey Sketcher was super clutch that last game. You know, it was one mana so we could play it and and he, uh, be able to block the five damage from the Misfortune. And then we also got the Moon Silver, which allowed us to play the Mystic Shot to uh, get rid of that Quinn barrier. So that, that Spacey Sketcher won us that game. Unlike guiding, my brethren. Punish transgressions. So I think I play Ezreal and they play Leona and stun my Ezreal and then my Ezreal doesn't really do anything because <clears throat> it's not blocking either. Now they see who I truly am. Okay, or they just have another Traveler also. What's up, Grace Claw? How you doing? Meant to be. It's a pretty fast pass. One girl wrecking crew. Got a backup Vi. They go sunburst. Oh. Well, do I want to use Get Excited to kill a 4-4? I need my Get Excited doing 4 damage, right? Like, I need to kill the Traveler in response, because that's, that's like their only Behold card, so that's why they had to wait to make sure I couldn't kill that Traveler. Uh, let's get to the fun part! I can't. It's going to be a difficult card to beat. Maybe we can find one of our own. What would you divine from my stars? Yours is the light that guides all Time travelers for a on. True display of skill. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Gotcha. All right, sounds good, Breeze. Thank you so much. I'll write that down. Oh, I meant to cast that card. All right, thank you, Brees. All right, so you have a donation deck for Misfortune Gangplank. What would you divine from my stars? Yours is the light that guides all travelers onward. I meant to play that Mystic Shot and just get, you know, just get two damage on something. what I meant to do. But this will work out just fine. We get to keep our spell mana so that we get to Sunburst and Traveler this turn, so that'll work out just fine. Yes! Now they see who <laughs> I truly am. Get our own. Cosmic inspiration. Open your eyes. Back heretic. Have faith. Give me two extra mana next turn. Okay, so just everything's big. I only have one mana this turn, not two. Stop bragging if you can back it up. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so everything's big. Your favorite star. I created it. <laughs> well, that's not good for me. Piltover Enforcer on the scene. Out of six. Yeah, so we're gonna try to sp we're gonna try to punch a space dragon. That's like they say that Aurelian Soul is like twenty six miles long. Twenty six mile long space dragon. We're gonna punch it right in the face. My, how they stare. That's my plan. Here's the fun part. Now, if they have, yeah, if they have hush, we're, we're just dead. I don't, I don't think I can play around hush. Yeah, I can't really play around hush. One shot, all skill. Um, so I can, I can hush theirs and make their dragon a seven-seven, but seven-seven. Is just the worst number. Like I can't double removal spell to kill a seven seven, and seven still kills my Vi. So I guess I have to draw a card with the guiding touch. I don't see any out. Move it. Yeah, I guess we have to. Yeah, we have to just hope for pale cascade. It's not pale cascade. Okay, back to scouts. That was a really good game that we had against scouts the first time. Yeah, I can't win them all, and uh, yeah, I know I, I know I gave up on that game early, but le leveled up early and soul just doesn't lose. And just for kind of time consideration, you know, we're at an hour already for these games. We're just gonna go ahead and go on to the next one. Um, I kind of like all these. Let's let's keep this. I don't know if this curve is going to be good enough to defeat scouts. We'll have to see. But there's, you know, a lot of potential with Static Shock with all of these two one challengers that they play. Um, obviously, I like Mountain Goat. Let's pass. Let's see what they got. Okay. Fortune favors the bold. Basically, my thinking here is that I didn't want, with with me having Static Shock, I didn't want the 2-1 to trade with my Mountain Goat. That was my thinking here. We're going to have four mana next turn. I'm going to try to Thermogenic Beam the Misfortune. At four. Now the Rangers Resolve wants to save it, but they can have some other things that would save it. Like that. That Sharp Side card is just amazing in this matchup, right? Like, it makes playing Ezreal um, really sketchy. Gotcha's a great draw. Trouble coming at ya. 
Okay, that's good. No repose, that's good. know if, like if this mystic shot's worth it because they just challenge like with the bannerman the next turn anyway or, like the next combat okay so I trade I traded mystic shot for sharp for sharp sight and honestly I'm fine with I'm fine with trading mystic shot for sharp sight so sharp sight very good you are positive the one-two punch. So they've used two sharp sights so far. So I'm hoping they're out of sharp sight. Which they should be. Just... They're just left with just a 3-3. Three, three. I hope we can beat a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> should be able to. are all pretty good. I'll take the Trevor. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. These cards are kind of expensive. It was my heart that led me here. Keep searching. We're looking good. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. I imagine we're gonna be winning this. Just gotta finish it out. Okay. So there we go, three and two. Alright, so that's Ezreal Vi. It played pretty well, to be honest. Uh it played pretty well, you know, got a couple of good wins there against Scouts. Um and I, I liked the the spells that we had just just in general. We had that really tough game against like the mirror match against like the Heimer Vi. Um, that one was that was a difficult game to navigate and and just how it, like my opponent had a few cards that uh, really played well against what I had. You know, like they had enough guiding touches and star shapings to, like keep them keep either themselves alive or like other units alive that were really uh, troublesome. But I liked our I liked our removal suite. I like how we had just a nice. Um, variety of cards like sometimes gotcha was really good a couple of times static shock was pretty good and um, sometimes we needed like a thermogenic beam I think I like having like that good variety there um, that one of spacey sketcher did a lot of work um, hush was hush was okay yeah I guess I guess hush helped us win or yeah it helped us win against the uh, trundle trindamere deck yeah hush was good um we did only have the two Pill Cascade, two Guiding Touch. I wouldn't mind seeing another one of each of those, but I don't really know where we'd fit them in, to be honest, because I kind of liked everything that we had in this list. We didn't really use the Progress Day. Maybe the Progress Day is not necessary. Um, we didn't use that card at all. Um, so maybe maybe the Progress Day could be another Guiding Touch or Pill Cascade uh, to be a little bit cheaper. I, w uh, I liked Star Spring, Sump Treasure. Those cards, those cards felt pretty good. And yeah, overall uh, went pretty well. So that's that's Ezreal Vi. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Ezreal Vi, and I'll see you for the next video.